Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues. As Platinum Sponsor, it's a privilege to be able to welcome you all to the symposium this morning and to open the TSCP uh, Washington Symposium. For those who don't know me, my name is Richard Paris, and I'm the CEO of Interseed. Secure collaboration as a concept and as a reality is something I've explored, developed, and supported for more than 20 years of my career, both in the US and in Europe. During that time, I have built an international, publicly quoted software company based on the vision that trusted digital identities are essential to effective cyber security and supply chain collaboration. Uh, and indeed, Interseed, if you look at the banner on the wall over there, is actually an acronym for Intercompany Electronic Data Exchange. And that follows on from my involvement in a predecessor project to TSCP out of Boeing in the early 1990s. And I think Interseed, as a word, also says something about mediation. And a lot of what we're doing here is about effecting uh, effective uh, mediation between trading partners in the aerospace and defense industries. Today our vision, my vision, is stronger than ever. Every day, more than 7 million people go to work around the globe using a digital credential issued by Intercede to my ID software. In the US, more than 3 million Americans every day go to work with a my ID issued credential. More than 2 million US mariners and dock workers go to work every day with a federally issued biometric smart card issued by Intercede software. Hundreds of thousands of federal employees in Washington go to work every day with a PIF card issued by Interseed MyID software. And that's across more than 13 federal agencies. But more importantly for, the, for this forum today, following two recent wins, contract wins we've had, if by the, this time next year, there'll be nearly 600,000 aerospace and defense employees around the world, in the US, in Europe, who will be going to work with a MyID issued identity. So digital identities are an important part of TSCP work. Uh, it's a key part of what we're going to be talking about over the next two days. Uh, and Intercede, I think, feels privileged to be invited to be a global member uh, this last week so that we can bring our, our expertise to bear and, and to help with the TSCP mission. As a Virginia resident, I am proud to have created a company that's making this great country and the world a safer place. And I was thinking about how to reinforce the importance of the work of TSCP to our members and to our guests here today. And I'm reminded of an inscription on a stone on a hillside in Virginia overlooking the Potomac River, the National Mall, and, uh, and the Capitol. And that stone is in Arlington National Cemetery. And it's the, it, is, it bears a quotation from the late great John F. Kennedy. And it starts with the words that I think everyone in this room will be familiar. Fellow Americans, ask not what America will do for you, ask what you can do for America. But it goes on to say, and this is probably the part of the the quotation most people don't read down to, but I think it's very important to the work we're doing here today. It's fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, ask what together we can do for the freedom of man. I think those few words eloquently encapsulate the mission of TSCP, and let me explain why. Cyberspace is indeed the next frontier of human experience and is increasingly the domain that links all the peoples of the world to one another and to the networks and machines that power our cities, control our transport, deliver better healthcare, protect our way of life, and entertain and educate our families. But there are those who would challenge these freedoms, who would exploit the useful uh, uh, exuberance of cyberspace to damage our institutions and personal way of life with subver subversive or criminal intentions. Protecting against the growing onslaught of threats, both without 
and increasingly it would seem from here, is both complex and resource demanding. The threat space exceeds the capability of any one company or country. It requires collaboration and cooperation between nation states and companies. The defence industrial base needs not only to secure its own supply chains for its own good, but must also play its part in securing the critical national infrastructure across the free world. What was once true for plowshares is now just as true in the virtual world. And within this context, I believe TSCP is a unique organisation. We are one of the very few organisations that is trans, global and cross-industry. Our membership encompasses some of the best cyber security assets available. Our government members have a powerful access to the threat landscape and our technology partners deliver critical enabling infrastructure. Collectively, we can make not only our own industry a more secure place to do business, but I believe we can make the world a safer and a more secure place. The chain of trust, which is the central notion of secure collaboration, goes right to the heart of Intercede's core business and is why so many TSCP members choose to work with us. And indeed, today trust has never been more important to global industry. Risks such as cyber threats, data leakage, loss of intellectual property are more real and more prevalent than at any time in history, both in origin and in target. But the work of TSCP and its members and the events at this symposium demonstrate that government and industry are more joined up than ever before in combating these risks and challenges. But new technologies and innovations are challenging how we think about security. ComSec is giving way to InfoSec. Computing has gone mobile and in cyberspace there are few, if any, national barriers or traffic cops. Even though the laws and export control we all have to work within are getting increasingly more constrained on a national basis, which is a whole new set of challenges. New computing platforms are emerging faster than standards. And in this rapidly changing world, security expertise is getting an increasingly short supply while budgets are stretched tight. The need for trusted identities and authentication also extends beyond people to any IP connected device or machine. The Internet of Things and how it is secured is the next big deal. It really is a case of ID anywhere and ID for everything as you can see on our new strap line on the band on the wall. Depending on your lens, this represents either a threat or an opportunity. Either way, I believe we are entering a new era of market disruption, a space in which TSCP can add great value to our membership and where our membership can be a beacon of best practice to others. The opportunity now is to look beyond the confines of the aerospace and defence industry and to explore how to apply the benefits of secure collaboration into all walks of life. And I believe the recent participation in the NSTIC round from TSP is, you know, is a great step in that direction. Isolated, we are all vulnerable, but working collaboratively through secure frameworks such as those developed by TSCP and with shared goals. We can, we can bolster our collective defences and enable better protection. And in the spirit of JFK, as an international organisation, together we can do our part to secure the freedom of man. I believe you will all agree that that is a worthy goal, and I believe we are, we are all in this room privileged to be in a position to make a difference. So throughout the conference, please take advantage of great demonstrations in the exhibition hall. All the companies here have put a great deal of work and heavy lift into enabling some fabulous interoperability uh, case studies. On the Intercede booth, you will see how we are using digital identity on a range of mobile platforms and applications to enable secure collaboration on the move, both using existing PIB credentials and 
derived credentials, lots of mobile phones, a living example of ID anywhere. I hope you enjoy the symposium and I look forward to meeting as many of you as I can over the next couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. I think we've got really important work to do. Let's get to it. Thank you.